Hello, and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Rob Yates. It's another one of those controversial chapters today, since it teaches how the Israelites were to deal with women suspected of cheating on their husbands. Remember with this show, I am just bringing the Word of God to you. Although it might be an idea to explore these topics deeper, I believe getting an idea of what the Bible actually says in context is vitally important. It's Numbers chapter 5 today. Let us open God's Word of Prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to an understanding of you. Amen. Numbers, chapter 5. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel that they put out of the camp every leper and everyone who has an issue, and whoever is unclean by the dead. But if you shall put male and female outside of the camp, that they not defile their camp, in the middle of which I dwell. The children of Israel did so, and put them outside of the camp. As Yahweh spoke to Moses, so did the children of Israel. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel. When a man or woman commits any sin that men commit, so as to sin against Yahweh, and that soul is guilty, and he shall confess his sin which he has done, and he shall make restitution for his guilt in full, and add to it the fifth part of it, and give it to him in respect of whom he has been guilty. But if the man has no kinsman, to whom restitution may be made for the guilt, the restitution for guilt which is made to Yahweh shall be the priest, beside the realm of forgiveness by which he shall be forgiven. Every heave offering of all the holy things of the children of Israel which they present to the priest shall be his. Every man's holy things shall be his. Whatever any man gives the priest, it shall be his. He always spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and tell them, If any man's wife goes astray, and is unfaithful to him, and a man lies with her calmly, and they is hidden from the eyes of her husband, and is kept close, and she is defiled, and there is no witness against her, and she isn't taken in the act, and the spirit of jealousy comes on him, and he is jealous of his wife, and she is defiled, or if the spirit of jealousy comes on him, and he is jealous of his wife, and she isn't defiled, then a man shall bring his wife to the priest, and shall bring her offering for her, one-tenth an ephah of barley meal. He shall pour no oil on it, nor put frankincense on it, but it is a meal offering of jealousy, a meal offering of memorial, bringing wickedness to the memory. The priest shall bring an air, and set it before Yahweh, and the priest shall take holy water in an earthen vessel, and of the dust that is on the floor of the tabernacle the priest shall take, and put it into the water. The priest shall set the woman before Yahweh, and let the air of the woman's head go loose, and put the meal offering of memorial in her hands, which is the meal offering of jealousy. The priest shall have in his hand the water of bitterness that brings a curse. The priest shall cause her to swear, and shall tell the woman, If no man has lain with you, and if you haven't gone aside to your uncleanness, being under your husband, be free from this water of bitterness that brings a curse. But if you have gone astray, being under your husband, and if you are defiled, and some man has lain with you, besides your husband, and then the priest shall cause the woman to swear with the oath of cursing. And the priest shall tell the woman, Yahweh make you a curse, and an oath among your people. When Yahweh allows your fire to fall away, and your body to swell, and this water that brings a curse will go into your bowels, and make your body swell, and your fire fall away. The woman shall say, Amen, Amen. The priest shall write these curses in the book. He shall blot them out into the water of bitterness. He shall make the woman drink the water of bitterness that causes the curse, and the water that causes the curse shall enter into her and become bitter. The priest shall take the meal offering of jealousy out of the woman's hand, and shall wave the meal offering before Yahweh, and bring it into the altar. The priest shall take a handful of the meal offering as its memorial and burn it on the altar, and afterward shall make the woman drink the water. When he has made her drink the water, then it shall happen 
if she is defiled and has committed a wickedness against her husband, that the water that causes the curse will enter into her and become bitter, and her body will swell and the fire will fall away, and the woman will be a curse among her people. If the woman isn't defiled, but is clean, then she shall be free, and shall conceive offspring. This is the law of jealousy. When a wife being on her husband goes astray and is defiled, when the spirit of jealousy comes on a man, and he is jealous of his wife, that he shall set the woman before Yahweh, and the priest shall follow the laws concerning her. The man shall be free from wickedness, and the woman shall bear her wickedness.